So as a triathlete, I compete on my own. Now, sure, there's other people in the races and, you know, I do want to come in first, but I can really only run my own race. And at the end of the day, I can only control my own finish. Now, anyone who's been an individual athlete knows that long hours of training can be extremely isolating. But that's never been a problem for me because I like to think that I know what I'm doing, even if I have no experience at something. And I've always been told that if you want to do something right, you have to do it yourself. Now, as somebody who doesn't like to ask for help, this was pretty logical, right? It seemed pretty simple. But as they say, if you want to go far, go together, right? If you want to go fast, you go alone. And if you want to go far, you'll go together. I realized that I couldn't do this alone, right? In order to be the best triathlete that I could be, I needed a support system, a community around me to help me do the things that I didn't want to do. Because as I started to train alone, I realized that I could skip the things that I didn't think I was particularly good at, that I didn't like doing. No one would call me out if I didn't do those things. But ultimately, I cheated myself out of success. However, when I found a community of people who were willing to do those things, the coaches who made me do the workouts I don't like to do, the friends who show up on long bike rides, the ones who show up late at night at the pool to help me fix my swim stroke, because let's be honest, that's the hardest part of the triathlon, or even the ones who show up to make sure that I you know, actually know what I'm getting myself into, those are the people, that community, that group of individuals with their unique skill sets and talents, those are the ones that ultimately make me better. Now, none of these people are perfect, right? None of them actually understands every aspect of my training, but it's this collective, like I said, that is what make me better as an athlete and make me a better person altogether. When I jump in the pool with my friend, Sarah, I am quickly reminded about the fact that I swim once a week. And she has swam daily for most of her life. So she's picking apart these things in my swim that I literally just don't know what I'm doing for. I actually try to listen and implement them because who am I to assume that I know what I'm doing, right? So as she's helping me and as she's making me better, I've learned to realize that that's what I need on my team. That's how I can be successful in this individual sport. Now, when I became a fellow, a lot of this mindset was similar for me. I thought that the only thing that mattered was the success of my projects. Regardless of what it took, what we had to do, as long as we were meeting these metrics of success that I thought other people thought were success, that was all that mattered. It didn't take long though for me to realize that just like my swim, there's different ways to be successful and everybody has their own versions of that. The metrics and the accomplishments that we looked towards looked different for different people. And as I've started to look back on the projects that I started when I was a fellow in the early days, none of those things still exist on that campus. And it's because I was too dependent on being independent in that project. I didn't ask for help. I didn't want help. I thought they would be fine if I did it myself. However, as I crossed the medical metaphorical finish line of school, and as I reached graduation, I thought I had handed these things off to new fellows to take them on to continue my legacy. But what I didn't realize is that they didn't share my vision of success. I didn't take them along on the journey. They didn't go on the long training runs. They didn't deal with the sunburns and the chafing that come from long bike rides. I simply handed them this thing at the finish line and said, here, take it and follow my vision for success. None of those things exist anymore. I thought we had the same idea, and the reality is we didn't. However, as I've watched these students continue to grow and change and evolve these projects, they've taken them into their own unique ideas beyond anything that I ever thought that I could do. Now, the reality of this is the achievements that still exist today are the ones that we did together when we worked together to create our own vision of success that was collective and collaborative, when we worked through those challenges, and when we even just simply asked for help, those are the things that have been lasting since the day that I walked off that campus. It's okay to be running your own race. 
it's okay to know that that's what you're doing. But you'll get so much farther if you don't try to run alone. So fellows, I want to leave you with this. How might we learn to become a little less dependent on being independent? Mm -hmm. yeah.